Hello, today I'm going to show you how to work with this mini pom-pom yarn. Um, the mini pom-pom yarn has little tiny puffs and then just this little bit of string in between them to work with. So it is a little bit different than the most of the pom-pom yarn you see out there. Um, I'm working with I'm not working with regular knitting needles for the purpose of this video just because the table is up too high for me and I'll, I'd be banging them around. So I have these little double pointed needles. But anyway, uh, you would just knit with regular knitting needles. This is what I normally use. Um, normally I use a size 3.25 to knit with this yarn. We could probably go up a size. Um, in fact, I think the ones I'm going to be showing you today are a little bit bigger, but I'm not sure because it doesn't have the size written on it. So, Okay, cast on. So we're just going to twist on our stitches to cast on with this yarn, which means we're going to take the yarn between the two puff balls and we're just going to twist it around and we're going to slide it on our needle. This first stitch I actually twist again. I like to have the first stitch double twisted around just so it doesn't come undone. Okay, next stitch. I'm going to take this yarn between the two puffs, between the next two puffs, twist it to make a loop, and slide it on the end. Yeah, these needles I think are a tad too big. Oops. I got caught on the string there. They might be okay. Okay, twist, put on the end. Look. Stick it on the end, twist it. This is by far the most tedious part of working with this yarn is this little twisty cast on. Um, I know there are other cast on methods you can use. This one leaves a really neat edge though. Um, but certainly feel free to explore. There was a video on YouTube on how to, to cast on this yarn with another piece of yarn that was a regular yarn of a similar color and I think that might be okay too but for me even though this little twisty thing is quite tedious um, it still looks good at the end of the day so here's a few stitches I'm sick of twisting so uh, that's what it looks like so the only other thing to remember about this yarn really is we want to slip off the first stitch when we're knitting. So we slip the first stitch, knit the rest. And we'll flip our work over and do the same thing. Slip off the first stitch, knit the rest. If you don't actually slip that first stitch off, you're going to get something that looks like this. So the rows are fine, but look at these ends. They're little half bubbles. They don't line up properly. They wrap around to the other side. It just looks a mess. So that's what happens when you don't twist your or when you don't slip your first stitch. This is what it looks like when you do. So uh, this is obviously a work in progress, but it's a lot neater. So your ends line up better. You don't get this little this little half bobble. It looks a lot better. So. Anyway, so we're going to slip our first stitch off here. And then we're, and be careful with that first one because it's just twisted on, not actually knitted, so it comes off easily. And then time for knitting. So with the knitting, we're just going to be using the string between the puffs, like so. Hope you could see that. Knit between the puffs. 
just once. I think the important part of knitting with this yarn is getting the right size needles, honestly. Because if you're trying with bigger needles, you're going to fail. And I ended up actually putting this yarn down and walking away from it for a long time because I just couldn't get it right. And it turned out it was the size needles I was trying. So that's, that's it. We're just going to knit like normal. And we're going to knit our last stitch. Okay. Now we have one row. You can see there's two bobbles. Kind of crazy back and forth. One's on one side and one's on the other side. So that's how it's going to end up. So we knit one side, flip it over, knit the other side, and we'll have two more bobbles. I should play music or something. It's been known yeah. and it's been shown Thank you. The streets are full of wool No, I also more. tug it down every time Every time I knit a stitch I tug it down Just, that's, uh, just helps me keep it straightened out Of course, I probably don't want to tug it down too much on these double-pointed needles Because it'll go sliding right off the end Okay now we want to flip it. So now, actually, I'll stop right here for a second. If you look, we have two bobbles on this side, and well, it looks like two on the other side, but it's not. It's actually only one. Um, okay, never mind. For demonstration purposes, that failed. Okay, and I'm gonna knit my other row here. Oh, wow. Nope, stop. Remember what I said. We need to slip this stitch. We can't knit it, otherwise we get weird, uh, weird little half bobbles on the side of our work. I just discovered that actually yesterday, so I keep wanting to knit it the way I was doing previously, which was the wrong way. Well, maybe not the wrong way, but the ugly way, I guess. So it's a habit I have to break. All right, I think I've shown you enough knitting here. You guys, if you're watching this tutorial, you probably already know how to knit anyway. You just need to know how to work with this particular yarn. So here's what we have so far. Oops, I just pulled the yarn off that one. Okay, well, we won't look at that part. Here's what we have so far. And here's what it looks like on the other side, two and two. Nice, even, kind of starting to line up on the bottom here. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to cast off. So once you get your knitting to the size you want it to be, okay, and you're going to want to cast off. Now the one thing about this yarn, the cast off is going to leave a row on one side. So you're going to want to stop when you're uneven. So what I mean by that is on this side, I have 10 puff balls if you count up from the bottom. On this side, I only have 9 if you count up from the bottom. That's what we want it to be. We don't want it to be even. If we even it out and then cast off, we're going to have 11 and 10. So cast off when you have uneven sides. That's all I'm trying to say. I had to grab my circular needles here because I didn't have another set of these. I couldn't find the other double pointed ones. So anyway, 
Um, the cast off is interesting. It's a yarn over cast off. I made this up by myself and I'm not a great knitter so this cast off could make absolutely no sense to you guys if you are good knitters but promise me it works it looks good it it ends up looking like this at the end so it's very neat there's puffs on the side so even if it isn't the right way to knit um, it worked for me so anyway you're gonna slip this stitch off Uh oh, I'm on the wrong side of my work here. Okay, I'm going to slip off the stitch. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pass this first slip stitch over your yarn over. You're going to slip your second stitch and take that remaining yarn over and pass that over. And that's that. So from here on, yarn over pass it over slip pass it over yarn over oops pass over slip pass over Yarn over, slip, slip over. Did I do that right? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, yarn over, pass over, slip, pass over. Maybe pass over. Yarn over. Oh, sorry, I'm getting out of the camera view here. Pass over, slip, and pass over. Oops. Ah. Uh oh. See, I effed it all up. Look at that. Well, I'm not going to make you sit and watch me repair this. Um, we did start casting off well until I screwed it all up. But this is what it would look like. Um, you've got a nice little puff on each side. So you're going to do the yarn over, pass over, slip, pass over. And you do, just keep doing that. Just slip your first stitch and then go from there. Yarn over, pass over slip pass over and then it'll create this nice little chain and then the last one when you're done uh, when you're at the end of the row just snip off your yarn and pull it through and you should be all set thanks for watching the video and comment if you have any questions or uh, comments thanks bye